We're going to have some incredible updates to our platforms. Apple unveiled a long-awaited AI strategy at its annual developer conference on Monday, aiming to become the face of generative AI for its users and reassure investors it hasn't lost too much ground to Microsoft. The company will integrate Apple intelligence across its suite of apps, including Siri. The AI features will allow users to summarize text and generate other content, such as personalized animations to wish a friend happy birthday. Just provide a description and you'll see your Genmoji appear. Apple also announced a partnership with OpenAI to integrate ChatGPT with its devices. Those will be available later this year and more AI features are set to follow. You'll be able to access ChatGPT for free without creating an account. Known for its focus on keeping user data safe, Apple said it had built AI with privacy, quote, at the core. The company says it will use a combination of on-device processing and its own server chips to power its AI features. And when Siri taps into ChatGPT's expertise, it will first seek permission from users before querying the OpenAI service. Some Apple investors are confident that the new AI features will boost iPhone sales at a time when the company is grappling with strong competition and slower growth. Apple Intelligence is the personal intelligence system that puts powerful generative models right at the core of your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. It draws on your personal context to give you intelligence that's most helpful and relevant for you. It protects your privacy at every step and it is deeply integrated into our platforms and throughout the apps you rely on to communicate, work, and express yourself. Apple Intelligence also powers brand new writing tools that you can access system-wide to feel more confident in your writing. Writing tools can rewrite, proofread, and summarize text for you, whether you're working on an article or blog post, condensing ideas to share with your classmates, or looking over a review before you post it online and they're available automatically across Mail, Notes, Safari, Pages, Keynote, and even your third-party apps. You can create images in three unique styles, sketch, illustration, and animation. In addition to messages, this experience is built into apps throughout the system, like Notes, Freeform, Keynote, and Pages. The greatest source of tools for taking actions is already in your pocket with the apps you use every day. And we have designed Apple Intelligence so it can tap into these tools and carry out tasks on your behalf. So you can say things like, pull up the files that JAWS shared with me last week, or show me all the photos of mom, Olivia, and me, or play the podcast that my wife sent the other day. We're designing Apple Intelligence to be able to orchestrate these and hundreds of other actions for you. You should not have to hand over all the details of your life to be warehoused and analyzed in someone's AI cloud. With Apple Intelligence, powerful intelligence goes hand in hand with powerful privacy. Let me tell you more about its architecture and how it's built with privacy at the core. The cornerstone of the personal intelligence system is on-device processing. We have integrated it deep into your iPhone, iPad, and Mac, and throughout your apps, so it's aware of your personal data without collecting your personal data. This personal intelligence system is comprised of highly capable large language and diffusion models that are specialized for your everyday tasks and can adapt on the fly to your current activity. It also includes an on-device semantic index that can organize and surface information from across your apps. When you make a request, Apple Intelligence uses its semantic index to identify the relevant personal data and feeds it to the generative model so they have the personal context to best assist you. Your data is never stored or made accessible to Apple. It's used exclusively to fulfill your request. And just like your iPhone, independent experts can inspect the code that runs on these servers to verify this privacy promise. In fact, Private cloud compute cryptographically ensures your iPhone, iPad, and Mac will refuse to talk to a server unless its software has been publicly logged for inspection. Siri will have the ability to take hundreds of new actions in and across apps, including some that leverage our new writing and image generation capabilities. For example, you'll be able to say, show me my photos of Stacy in New York wearing her pink coat. 
and Siri will bring those right up. Then you might say, make this photo pop, and Siri will enhance it just like that. With its semantic index of things like photos, calendar events, and files, plus information that's stashed in passing messages and emails, like hotel bookings, PDFs of concert tickets, and links that your friends have shared. Siri will find and understand things it never could before. And with the powerful privacy protections of Apple Intelligence, Siri will use this information to help you get things done without compromising your privacy. Leveraging the power of Apple Intelligence, you can create Genmoji on device right in the keyboard and match any moment perfectly. Just provide a description and you'll see your Genmoji appear right before your eyes, along with more options to choose from. This is great in those times when you're updating a friend about your relaxing weekend, getting the group chat excited about brunch, or complaining about the rowdy squirrel right outside your window. You have to search through tons of photos to pick out the best ones, figure out how to arrange them, and hunt for the right music. Now, thanks to Apple Intelligence, it is super easy to create a memory about the story you want to see. Just type a description, and it can interpret that learning to fish involves things like water, docks, fishing rods, and boats. Using its language and image understanding, Apple Intelligence picks out the best photos and videos. And then it crafts a storyline with unique chapters that are based on themes identified from your photos and arranges them into a movie with its own narrative arc. You'll be able to access ChatGPT for free without creating an account. Your requests and information will not be logged. And for ChatGPT subscribers, you'll be able to connect your account and access paid features right within our experiences. Of course, you're in control over when ChatGPT is used and will be asked before any of your information is shared. Apple Intelligence harnesses the power of our most advanced silicon and will be available on iPhone 15 Pro and iPad and Mac with M1 and later. Apple Intelligence will be available to try out in US English this summer. We're bringing it to users in beta as part of iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS Sequoia this fall, with some features and additional languages and platforms coming out over the course of the next year. Today, we're going to have some incredible updates to our platforms. And I'm excited that we'll introduce profound new intelligence capabilities that we hope will inspire developers delight users, and make our platforms even smarter and more useful than ever. Apple Vision Pro and Vision OS unlock completely new possibilities for entertainment, productivity, collaboration, and so much more. Vision Pro has inspired developers to create amazing and unique spatial apps that aren't possible on any other platform. Apps like NBA, where you can watch multiple live games with stats, what If, where you become a superhero in the Marvel Universe. And Unextinct, where you can explore endangered species. Now, Vision OS 2 lets you do something truly amazing with the photos already in your library. With just the tap of a button, advanced machine learning derives both a left and right eye view from your beautiful 2D image, creating a spatial photo with natural depth that looks stunning on Vision Pro. It's so magical to reach into the past and bring your most cherished photos into the future. People love Mac Virtual Display because it lets them bring their Mac wirelessly into Vision Pro just by looking at it, giving them a large, private, and portable 4K display. Later this year, it gets even better with higher display resolution and size. And it can be expanded even further into an ultra-wide display that wraps around you, equivalent to two 4K monitors side by side. Your content stays sharp wherever you look, thanks to dynamic foveation performed on the Mac. I've been hearing from people all over the world about their interest in this incredible product. So I'm happy to announce we're bringing Apple Vision Pro to these eight countries next, starting with China, Japan, and Singapore on June 28th, and Australia, Canada, France, Germany, and the United Kingdom on July 12th. Last, there's a new way to stay connected whenever you don't have Wi-Fi or cellular service. We're using the same groundbreaking technology that gave us emergency SOS via satellite to bring you messages via satellite. Now, you can use the satellite capabilities on iPhone 14 and later to connect to satellites hundreds of miles above the Earth to text your friends and family when you're off the grid. 
all right from the Messages app. Because iMessage was built to protect your privacy, iMessages sent over satellite are end-to-end -end encrypted. And if you need to text people not on iMessage, we're supporting SMS messaging via satellite too. Next, wallet. Continuing on our journey to replace your physical wallet, we're introducing Tap to Cash, a quick and private way to exchange Apple Cash without sharing phone numbers or email addresses. With Tap to Cash, you can pay someone back for dinner just by holding your phones together. This year, we're making it even easier to interact with Siri for a seamless, hands-free experience. For those instances when you may not want to speak out loud in response to Siri, like on the bus to work, or in those places that are a little too crowded, we've created the ability to simply nod your head yes or gently shake your head no to interact. Call from Gam Gam. Answer it? Okay. In watchOS 11, we're introducing Training Load, an insightful way to measure how the intensity and duration of your workouts are impacting your body over time. To track intensity, we designed a new way to rate your workouts. Using calorimetry data like heart rate, pace, and elevation, plus your personal data like age and weight, a powerful new algorithm automatically translates our sensor data into an estimate of your effort rating. After your workout, you can review the rating on the summary page, ranging from one, easy, to 10, all out. And you can even adjust your effort rating up or down to get it just right. It can give you a deeper understanding of your body and help you identify when something might be off. So with watchOS 11, these metrics are the foundation of the insightful new Vitals app, where you can check in on your daily health status and explore your most important health metrics with just a glance. I'm so excited to show you the new Math Notes experience. I get to it by just tapping the new calculator button right here. And with my Apple Pencil, I'll just start writing out expressions like I would on a piece of paper. As soon as I write an equal sign, calculator immediately solves it for me and even shows me the results in handwriting like my own. When I make a change, the results update live and I can go beyond basic math with all of the same functions from the scientific calculator. Just as we've reimagined math on iPad, we've also reimagined handwriting in Notes with a new feature called Smart Script. Notes already has great handwriting features, like the ability to select and copy your writing or even make it straighter. With Smart Script, we're making handwriting your notes smoother than ever. It starts with improving the appearance of your writing as you write. We use a powerful on-device machine learning model to recreate your handwriting style from your notes, which unlocks new capabilities. Just scribble your thoughts as fast as you have them, and SmartScript refines your handwriting as you go. Welcome to macOS Sequoia. To access my phone, I just click here in my dock. Boom, and there's my iPhone mirrored in a window right on my Mac. I can fully interact with it, all wirelessly. I can see my custom wallpaper. My icons are right where they belong. And I can use my phone normally, like swiping through pages of my home screen, the Passwords app. Passwords makes it easy to access your credentials and have them securely stored all in one place. Everything is organized for you, from your passwords to verification codes to security alerts. You can find the app on Mac, iPad, iPhone, Vision Pro, and on Windows with the iCloud for Windows app. Game Porting Toolkit 2 takes this to the next level, enabling developers to bring even more advanced games to Mac with improved Windows compatibility and shader debugging tools. And it's much easier to bring Mac games to iPad and iPhone with Xcode support that lets developers unify their game code and shaders across devices.